Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace the font bearing hub, okay, the whole spindle hub on 4 Fiesta MK7 generation 2018-2017. So stay with us guys and we'll show you how to do that now. We have more than 200 videos on the car, so please subscribe if you have one. We upload other vehicle um, makes and models as well, so if you need anything, let us know. We'll try to make a video for you. Okay, so we're talking about the whole hub, spindle hub with the bearing. So stay with us to show you how to do that now. So we'll be using the air compressor here with the impact to remove the nut for the CV axle shaft. Okay, right here. If you don't have impact compressor, you can just use a breaker bar, a big breaker bar. And one person hold the brake inside and you can take that nut loose. Okay, that little compressor is uh, doing a pretty good job for being so small to be honest with you. We like it quite a bit and okay, the nut came out now. Uh, what we're going to do next, okay, we're going to disconnect the brake caliper, okay, from the hub. So on the back side we have two bolts here with 13 millimeter socket and we have to hold with a 17 millimeter on the inside. There is a nut so that way you don't damage your glides there. Okay, this one came loose. Now one more over there. All the tools that we use will be in the description box under the video. So make sure to check it out if you need anything. Okay, this one is quite tight. Okay, perfect. We got them loose. Now all we have to do is remove them. One is out, one more to go. Okay, just lost the socket. Okay, now we need to get a, uh, a cord, okay, to tie the caliper to the strut so we don't damage the brake line. You cannot just let it hang on the brake line because you're going to damage it and you can lose your brakes later. So what we're going to do, just slide it out now. Okay, and hang it for the strut. There you can see. Okay, so we leave it there now. We're going to pull our brake pads out of the way. And uh, next thing that we're going to do actually now, we will, uh, there is two bolts with 15 millimeter on the back that uh, that hold the brake, uh, the brake bracket, brake caliper bracket towards the hub. So we're going to remove those. They're usually pretty, pretty tight. Okay. One's loose and one on the bottom side. Nice, perfect. Look, this one got loose as well. Okay, this is the bracket that we're going to remove now. Uh, the only thing holding right now is we have uh, two bolts on the strut, uh, the tie rod and the control arm ball joint. So the tie rod right here, okay. But before that we're going to remove the ABS sensor so we don't damage that thing. Eight millimeter socket, just one single bolt. Do it now before you remove everything else because otherwise you have it hanging on the wire and uh, you can damage it that way you will need to replace it okay just leave it on the side okay next we're going to disconnect the uh, you can see the tie rod here and 
this one if it's spinning freely okay you have to do it with a wrench and you can hold it here with a with a uh, hex key our wrench I mean, ours is not spinning so that's that's a good sign okay perfect now you need to get a hammer and tap on the cast iron there Pull it out, okay, like that. With 18mm socket, we're going to remove the nuts on the strut. Okay, you can see two nuts. Those are usually pretty tight. After procedure like that, very often you will need to go for a front end alignment. Okay, this one is almost loose. Let's see if this one will do it. Okay, it's spinning on the back side, so we need to hold it there with... Uh, uh, it's hard to tell, probably 15. Yep, 15 millimeters. like that remove the nut but we will leave the board in place and you'll see why we're going to spray some uh, PB blaster okay or sorry, some WD-40 okay let me show you on this one here okay because it has some dirt okay right here you can see so we're going to apply some that, that thing works really good if something stuck do it okay the bottom one as well there leave it for about 10-15 minutes and it will, everything will come off after that. Okay, now let's do the bottom one. You can see pretty, pretty tight. Okay, got loose now. What we can actually do, we can go ahead and pull the, the disc out. So it's not in the way because nothing holds it right now. So we don't want to, you know, we don't want it to fall and damage it. Yeah, we can show it a little bit better now. We have a better view. Same thing on the bottom one. Okay, perfect. Now, <coughs> what we need to do, you can see that board right there on this side is with a 15 millimeter wrench, on the other one is with 13. We need to get this one, because this one is for the control arm for the ball joint. Okay, so if it gets stuck, you can spray some, that would be for the penetrating oil as well there. Ours is not that bad because we recently removed it to make a few videos for control arm replacement, brake replacements, we did CV access. So you can check the videos out guys, if you need anything let us know. Okay, this one is out, this is the bolt, it's very important how we install that later. Uh, now <coughs> we need to get a pry bar, okay, and pull the control arm down, okay, so we can get it out of the hub. Okay, watch that now. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now, next thing, all we have left is two bolts here that we need to pull out on top. The one that we got loose. Okay, you need to lift it up a little bit to wiggle the bolt out. Now, you have to be careful because here it's the CV axle, so you're going to pull. Okay, it's Get stuck in the strut. Okay, perfect. And just carefully pull it out. Okay, guys, and this is the whole bearing assembly, half assembly on Ford Fiesta MK7. So that's how you remove it. That's the bearing. If you need to replace it, 
But we have a video how to replace the bearing without a press. It's one of the most popular videos we have. So check it out if you need to. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.